Good afternoon, welcome to Tony's Bonsai. Beautiful day here in the northwest of England today and I'm looking at a tree. Need some help actually off my viewers because I bought this in a bonsai centre local to me and it was just marked as elm and I presumed it was a, an English elm. But I was looking at it today and thinking the leaves are quite small, is it a Chinese elm? It's, it's certainly not in the style of the traditional sort of garden centre Chinese elm. I'm not really keen on those. Could you help me out? Um, I'll give you a close up view now and do you know what it is? So this is the leaf size, size of sort of my, my thumbnail. Not that one, that's a monkey nail. I ate it with a hammer years ago, never grown back properly. But yeah, size of my nail, red, red stalk. Let me know what you think, please. I'd uh, really appreciate that. Is it a Chinese elm? Because if it is, I'm really happy with it. It's a twin, tr it's a triple trunk. And when I got it, it was a real mess. The, there was big clunky knuckles all over the place. I really hacked it to get these down. I wired it and it's grown on and it's developing into something quite nice, I think. But today I need to give it a prune. It's early to mid-May and I don't really want to be doing any major structural pruning or anything like that, but I think I need to sort of compact it down. There's a lot of these long shoots that I think need taking back. Um, so this prune's just a question of sort of going round and improving the shape of the tree really. I'm not interested in creating a pad style tree. I've shared many times that I love the content by Corin on Greenwood Studio. He's such a such a font of just good practical advice, knowledge. But I watched a video on him pruning some Chinese elms and they were a bit in that sort of pad style, sort of juniper style almost. I really don't like them like that. I want them to look much more like a natural tree, you know, so with branches going up, And I'm not, um, I'm not getting involved in any significant design work here. It's really just kind of chopping it back to create that, that kind of that rounded canopy shape and hopefully develop some ramification through pruning is the idea. I've, I've shared before about Walter Paul in his videos and he talks about the hedge pruning method which makes a lot of sense you know you look at a lot of hedges they're very really nicely well ramified and they've not had any special bonsai pruning or anything like that they've just been trimmed with a hedge trimmer and so let me have a look from behind the camera now oh, that's beginning to take on quite quite a pleasing shape I think And I'm not not doing anything crazy. Apparently Chinese elms are sort of more or less the easiest trees to take care of. And I think that'll do for the time being now. I don't want to do anything more than that. 
the birds are going mad. <laughs> I don't know what they're up to. Um, they're always fighting around here, birds. Trying to create a bit of serenity. I, I watched Peter Chan's video. He's got little robins and things. And I've got blackbirds and crows fighting. But uh, anyway, back to the tree. I'm quite pleased with the way that sort of canopy's developing there. I've just taken everything back. And I'm going to leave the main structural wires on in place for a couple more months because they're really holding the structure of the three together. When this came, uh, well, when I bought this, it actually had four trunks. I initially tried to style it with four, but it just wasn't working. So this winter, I went and dug one of the trunks out and managed to get it to come away with some root. I planted it separately and it's growing quite nicely as a separate tree. So a little bit of a bonus. I've got sort of a multi-trunk and a single trunk to work on. There's nothing needs doing with this yet. I'm going to let this just grow on to get healthy this year. Um, but I've got another project now that I'm going to have a crack at. What I've got here is a dwarf rhododendron. I, I bought one of these in a, and um, did a basic prune in a previous video. This was actually my mum's. She didn't want it because she doesn't like the fact that when the blossom dies, it all goes brown and looks a mess before the leaves come out. So she's bought another plant to replace it with. I dug it out. It, it was in poor draining soil. So as I lifted it, it came out just in a lump. So it's been easy. I've just repotted it in some nice free draining compost. And I believe now is the time to do a fairly hard prune on this kind of plant. So let's have a look at the structure. In terms of the main structure, I think I've dropped in quite lucky with this tree. It's got a main trunk coming on, which has got a first branch, a sort of, and then it's almost a twin trunk from there. And that's quite nice. And even higher up, the branches come off at really nice points. So there's no major clumps that often happens. So I don't think there's much in the terms of major structures to actually deal with. To start off, what I decided to do is just cut back a lot of these long they're too long and they're just, they're not right. So let's just work around. And, you know, I really am just, just hacking this back, just, getting some of this length out of these branches because they're just too long. You know, at some point you've got to be brutal with a plant like this to, to bring it back into some kind of sort of bonsai potential, if you will. So that's that's my first initial very, very rough prune. And now I can make some decisions in terms of some of the inner structure, because I can see it very easily now in a way that I couldn't, I just couldn't, couldn't work out what was happening. You know, I need to get, need to get rid of all this. And again, as I've said with other plants, it's not a plant I've paid for, it's just a garden plant that my mum didn't want. So it's a perfect one for me to experiment with and see what I can actually get away with on one of these, one of these type of azaleas. Uh, not an azalea, um, a rhododendron. I think it is a dwarf rhododendron and not an azalea. So I'm going to take a closer inspection now of the of the inner structure this very weak inner growth has to be taken off it's so compact i'm struggling really to even get get anything other than these little cutters in 
So that's the kind of inner, a couple of inner weak ones gone. As I look at this branch here, it's quite nice, but I've got this stem in the centre that has to go. That was dead anyway, actually, that. Yeah. Got a couple of branches here. So one that comes off in this direction and one that comes off at the, up the top and a, another one here. And they're all kind of close, coming from the same point. I don't want to develop any inverse taper. So this one that's going into the middle of the plant is best being removed to allow, you know, air and circulation within the tree. Got two branches here coming from almost the same point. And I'll select this stronger branch here because this is come, sort of coming over in a bit of a more unnatural way. This is a bit of an odd branch. It's kind of pointing in a downward. It's coming from the bottom. So get rid of that. And while I'm at it, there's another one here that can go. This is the front view. It's almost definitely going to be the front view because of the structure of these trunks. It looks really nice from here. So this is going to be the back of the tree, which is going to add depth, but it kind of leans out a bit too far. So definitely needs pulling back and I think there's no need for that branch there and it also needs to be shorter on this back you can see there's not a lot at the front here and yet the back comes out quite far so by taking that back, removing a coarse branch at the back here. That's a lot better. And it just seems a lot more balanced to me that now. I've just slightly rotated the tree again. So we've still got the front in here. And this is all a little, little bit congested. So just by Cleaning that up, I think that improves the sort of composition at the back, definitely. This is back to the front of the tree, as I described before with these nice, these three nice trunks. And I do think that this over in this left hand side here is a bit long. I can take those back and there's a couple of These are sort of dead, these little little skinny ones there. There is a branch, and this this is kind of directly above the other branch. And I do think that's going to be a bit weird in the future. So the question is, which do I keep? It's a, it's a bit of a tough question, that. I think... Because there's a change of direction, I'll remove the top one. Yeah, happy with that. And just over here, we've got two branches coming from the same point. So I will remove the, the thicker branch at the back just to help add taper going up. Now, there's, it's quite congested in this centre here. So, that one can go. And I've got a branch here crossing over into the centre. I want to try and keep this centre open. So really, I think that whole branch can go. 
there. So this whole design in the centre now is beginning to take shape. I've got three branches emanating from the same point there, which I don't like. Remove the centre one. And I think I'm on the road there to creating something fairly fairly okay. I've got three I've got several branches all coming from the same point here. So I'll remove the, the thickest branch. And there's still there's still three coming from this point. This is quite nice because it as I look at the front of the tree, that's quite a it's quite an important branch. So one of these two has to go and I'll choose the smaller one because the other one creates a nice fork. So that's all I'm going to do. That's my final design. That's been fun, working on my suspected Chinese elm, although someone will let me know about that, I'm sure. And then on another tree I'm not sure about, which I think is a dwarf rhododendron, but I don't know what which cultivar. But both, both nice individual specimens that have got good potential for the future, like all my bonsai, you know. As you can see here, it's far from finished, but if that can thicken up a bit and add some nice ramification, it's really got the beginnings of something that could could be could be pretty nice, I think. As always, thanks for joining me. If you've enjoyed the content, subscribe and keep up to date on what I'm up to. Otherwise, have a nice day. Get out there in the sunshine for a couple of hours yourself and mess about with your trees. I'll see you soon.